there is a person who is like a luminary. You know a luminary in South Africa? Towards morning today, I saw something which I saw in the past and I never spoke in. I saw a star falling. It was as if I'm somewhere. Before we get to the rest of the prophecy, there's some few things that I want you to notice. My name is Sibyl, uh, and if you like this type of content, do make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video. Now, let's jump straight into today's video. Now, uh, a divine ministry, the past over there, has released a video or a prophecy uh, prophesying. If you saw the video of yesterday, I'll put it down in the pinned comments. Now, it's not the full video. Uh, you can find the full length video on the internet it's not the full length video but i just wanted to give you a perspective of what is really going on but what i want you to notice is that before we get to the prof uh, prophecy is that whenever somebody comes from an occultic or a religious system or any false religion this person must must be trained this person must uh, go into discipleship this person must become a disciple a follower of jesus christ before they start engaging and preaching and all this type of things because you see what happens is like the type of system J. Israel was in it's so easily to 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 go back to the same way uh, he's been doing these things all this time so that was the fear of mine and then also the fear was that other people uh, uh, doesn't take us serious when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ because of the things they do but uh, in any case let me play the prophecy so you can hear what the pastor is saying. In Johannesburg. It was as if I'm somewhere in Johannesburg. And you know, I was standing on the balcony of a very tall building. And I saw a star falling in my sleep. I saw a star falling. Say a star falling. Say a star falling. Say a star falling. Say a star falling. What does it mean? It means there is someone who is highly celebrated in South Africa who will be disgraced very soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone may be asking about this message of a star falling. It's a celebrate. Someone who is highly celebrated, they will be disgraced very soon. So, who is that person? Who is that person? Can anything be done for them? He refused to redeem. Maybe the disgrace will be part of their redemption, we don't know. Because sometimes what we interpret as disgrace, it's part of our redemption. So there is someone who is highly celebrated in South Africa. A celebrate. God will allow that person to be disgraced. The person highly celebrated, very proud. Highly celebrated and proud. Highly celebrated and what? Proud. Say highly celebrated. Proud. That person will fall to the ground. You know, in my prayers, I was praying for the preservation of this person's life. That in the process of being disgraced, the person does not die. Because sometimes when God allows you to be disgraced, he may allow you to die as well. Because disgrace comes at many levels. There's disgrace which is for redemption, which leaves you alive to see another thing. And then there is disgrace which, which one moment you are arrogant, you are up there, the next moment people are mourning over your life and you are gone for Okay, so that is the end of that prophecy. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section. Do make sure to hit the like button. You know, YouTube likes those kind of things. And if you are not already subscribed, do subscribe to my channel. We do this kind of content every Tuesday and Thursday. And sometimes during the week, we just released 
uh, uh, when it's important video I'll give you guys an update of what is really going on uh, we might do a Bushiri video because uh, the papers has been signed we have to follow up what is going on over there in Malawi but I'll keep you guys updated about those things remember that if you are following these guys without any biblical knowledge it's so easily for you to be deceived it's so easily for you to be lied to it's so easily for you to fall away from the grace of God and we pray that through all this saga that this man of God will these people uh, I can't call them men of God because they are chalis I hope that these people will come to the realization that they need Christ they need to repent put themselves in a biblical church and try to be uh, 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 build the foundation because you see you can't build a house on top of a house uh, uh, when the foundation is not structured in a way to carry both buildings so that foundation needs to be broken down that means this person needs to receive discipleship in order for these people to grow in the faith grow in the knowledge of God grow in in the way that God has structured us to go and so therefore I'm saying J Israel at this moment in this point in time I hope this is a turnaround point for you in your life and I hope that God will come through for you in rescuing you L like what the pastor said sometimes these people die in pursuit of 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 unholiness not righteousness but unholiness but we pray that uh, the grace of God will locate him and will redirect him to Christ but uh, in any case my name is Sibiu and I'm out I'll see you on the next video